no one wants to see. And they were going like 80 miles an hour and clearly something was going on. Or here. It was a rapid succession, pop, 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 pop. This type of fireworks. And then it happened again. On July 4th weekend. You could tell that they were in a little bit of a panic. Lakewood police say a woman called 911, worried about her husband at home. When we arrived, the male party apparently met our officers outside and began firing. Oh, I was just hoping nobody got hurt. We have had two officers hit, one male officer, one female officer. They arrived in two separate cars and investigators say the officers were under attack immediately. I mean, these men and women defend our streets. Can't think of anything bad happening to them. The suspect was also hit um, by Lakewood officers who were returning fire. Police say the shooter is a man in his mid-50s, armed with at least one handgun and possibly a plan that he shared with his wife. And told her on this phone call that you know, if the police responded that there probably would be some type of confrontation. If there's any good news in all this, all injuries to all three people shot are non-life threatening. Police say their officers were protected by their bulletproof vests. But I'd say uh, that played a very crucial role. That is one thing people did want to hear. My, you know, thoughts and prayers go out to their family most definitely. In Lakewood, Nelson Garcia, 9 News.